The Blaser Jet Mix, ideal for mixing emulsions. The Blaser Jet Mix not only maintains a constant concentration, it also ensures a finely dispersed emulsion. Concentrate is sucked in and mixed by the water jet according to the Venturi principle. Cavitation caused by the specially shaped nozzle generates shock waves that keep the emulsion droplets small to form a finely dispersed emulsion. The blazer jet mix can be wall mounted or installed directly on the drum. It is essential to comply with the following rules. The drain hose to the machine sump must not exceed a height differential of 2 meters above or below the top of the drum. The length of the drain hose from the jet mix to the sump must not exceed 10 meters. The drain hose must not be immersed in the mixed emulsion in the sump, otherwise the appearance and concentration of the freshly mixed emulsion cannot be checked. This also prevents any return flow back to the concentrate in the drum. For fixed wall mounted installation, a different drain hose or pipe to the machine sump is often used. The inside diameter of this hose or pipe must be three quarters of an inch. For wall mounting, the suction head from the top of the drum to the jet mix must not exceed two meters. Before installing the jet mix, make sure that the ball in the check valve on the bottom of the pipe moves freely. First, fit the screw adapter with the measuring scale to the drum. Now insert the jet mix in the large opening and fix it in the correct position with the clamping screw. The jet mix must be installed in the vertical position. This position is particularly important for a wall-mounted installation. The water feed pipe must have an inside diameter of three quarters of an inch along its entire length. Restrictions such as valves, transitions or filters hinder the flow. The water feed pipe must be absolutely leak proof. Check the concentrate level in the drum with the measuring scale. Make sure that the jet mix tap is at a right angle to the jet mix body in the fully closed position. Open the water feed valve and check on the jet mix manometer that the static pressure is at least 3 bar. Set the mixing ratio approximately to the required concentration. Turn the tap through 90 degrees into the fully open position parallel to the jet mix. When the tap is open, the dynamic pressure differential must be at least 2 bar but no more than 6 bar. Only this pressure gives a finely dispersed emulsion. After about 10 seconds, the suction starts to ensure a uniform concentration. Check the emulsion appearance and measure the concentration to see if it is set correctly. If it is not correct, continue adjusting and measuring until the concentration is right. Now you can fill the machine with finely dispersed emulsion in the correct concentration. Before shutting down the jet mix, close the tap first. Then close the water feed pipe valve. Briefly open the jet mix tap to relieve the pressure, then close it again immediately. Make sure that no water gets into the drum. Water in the concentrate makes it unusable by causing reverse emulsion. Release the screw clamp on the drum and pull out the jet mix. Clean the standpipe with a rag. Afterwards, remove the screw adapter as well. Never make any technical modifications to the jet mix. For an efficient mixing of the emulsion, there are two devices available. The jet mix has, with a 6 bar water pressure, a flow rate of 1,800 liters per hour. This device is recommended when several and larger machines are in use. The mini jet mix has a capacity of 900 liters per hour and is recommended for single-filled and smaller machines.